ready? It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs! I'm waiting for you to make fun of me or something. I, I don't have to. But you usually do. Alright. Okay, we okay, got. Okay, we got. A few new people to welcome to. You feel better? The neighborhood. Yes, I do. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. What about. What about? No, that's the name. What about what? That's the name. I, I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a uh, Abbott and Costello routine. Who's on first? What? <laughs> what about. Welcome to the neighborhood. Sounds fine to me. Kid from 1981, welcome to the neighborhood. Amy Laboratory. Laboratory, welcome to the neighborhood. And we have a very special Ronnie Manville. Hello, hello, Mr. Fruit Punch Rockstar. Welcome. To the neighborhood, since I, we never welcomed you when you first started following us. I thought it was Ron Bon, bon Jovi. Oh, that's true. It is Ron Bon Jovi, too. Rock yeah. star. Ron Bon Jovi, the rock star. There you go. We got a new name for you. You are now Ron Bon Jovi, the fruit punch rock star. That's true. True, true, true. Okay, my question. Oh, hold on. Can I, can I help you? No, oh, I got it. I got it. I've been doing a lot more things on my own. You've been you're working without <sighs> your... Shh. You just Shh. Hope, hope your doctor Shh. doesn't watch your blog. Shh. Shh. We don't tell. <laughs> Shh. It's a secret. Her doctor... Tanya, you don't hear any of this. Okay. My question yesterday was, what f or fad, right? Trend? Fad? Trend. What trend would do you wish would come back in style? Oh, I did answer that. Can I answer that in the in the vlog? In, in yeah, the video? yeah. Okay. Mel's gonna tell her us her answer because she's still here, guys. She was too tired to drive home today, and we wouldn't let her go, so she stayed the night again. So she's gonna answer us right now. Hi. Wait. Can well, you see me? Yeah. Come in a little bit more. Hi. <laughs> Oh, close up. <laughs> um, wait, what's it? Can, here, let me get in your, between your, you guys. Your current fad? No, just take Kevin's seat. Oh, <laughs> right. no, there we go. <laughs> I'm kicking him out. Oh. <laughs> You've been replaced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can go hang out with Bones. Just the men back there. <laughs> okay, I'm used to it. Okay, what was the question? What fad would you like to come back in style? Definitely the 80s. Except for the mom's pants. No mom's mom's pants. So you like the big uh, permed hair? I just like the uh, knee-high socks. The punky Brewster look. She, ah, the different colored mm. shoes. And, she wants yeah. to see that flock of seagulls haircut come back. No, that's not true. <laughs> I do like... Um, your oh. hair. Oh. Not, I keep thinking Jerry Curl. Shag. No. What is that? It's yeah. not a mullet. I do like mullets. It's not a mullet. I want, <laughs> I want, I want my husband to grow his out in, in a mullet. I think he would look very cute with a mullet. I'm old school. I am from the 80s. I am an 80s girl. So sorry if you guys don't like me after this. How could they not like you? We all love you. Aw, thank you. <laughs> everybody loves you. Aw. Especially everybody with mullets. <laughs> yes, everybody with mullets love me now. <laughs> Anybody who has a mullet, go to Mom's Vlog 80 or Melody Mainville. There she, there you have it. And you know what? Everybody kept giving me a hard time. I don't really know the difference between what it looks like and all that, but I like longer wow. hair on a guy. I Period. Do too. Period. I do, too. I do. I like long hair. I mean, on guys. look at Thor. Hello. Yeah. Look at. Brad Pitt when he played in Legends of the Fall. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, well this is getting totally off track Okay, here. I'm going to let Kevin come sit back in 
on his seat here before he we gets more embarrassed. We can go all day on this. <laughs> We're done with fashion. <laughs> Come on, baby, you're back. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, so what trend was it that you mm -hmm. wanted to come back into style? And we have Bambi S. The only thing that I can even think of that could fit in with now would be leg warmers. And mind you, I do not recall leg warmers as being a long-lasting fad or trend, but I did have some that I wore, especially when going to areas where it snowed. I used to wear leg warmers a lot when I lived in New York. Pants on. I had pants on, but it was... You know, kind of cool. You had your, your boots on, and then you had your, your jacket and your shirt, and then you had your matching, you know, leg warmers. It was kind of cool. Flash dance. She wore, wore, blah, 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 wore leg warmers when she danced. Kind of cool. I like that. Cole today said, 90s grunge style needs to come back because then she won't look homeless. She'll, she'll look trendy. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I like that. Um, Crimson Fairy. Vests. I like wearing vests and, with pants and a crisp, crisp dress shirt. Also, thicker fabrics. Fabrics for shirts have gotten very thin. Um, the Abyss, 92882. It was a tough question, he said. But he would have to say overalls, which I think would be cool to have back. I loved wearing my overalls. But I'd have to be thin again because overalls, they show your stomach too much. Mm -hmm. yeah, I so used you to wear overalls. I loved overalls. Yeah, me too. So you, you got to really have to be thinner to wear overalls. And afros. Now that, I don't know. You know. I remember all my cousins at one time. They all, my male cousins all got afros. Okay, and my last one is from Terry Johnson. She would like to see those gaucho pants back again. And she read on the internet that they are coming back. They're very comfortable. I remember having a couple pairs of those um, many years ago. I liked them because they kind of looked like a skirt. And um, when I worked for the accountant's office, I used to have to dress up all the time, obviously. And, you know, that was something that was comfortable and, and cool and everything. So, I really like those. What is it that you would like to see come back? I, I wear t-shirts and jeans. So. Well, it doesn't have to be clothing. It's any, any kind of fad. Oh, yeah. How about a, I want my, the fanny pack to come back. Oh, my gosh. No. no. <laughs> Just kidding. Better be I used to wear one though, I remember. There was a ton of people wearing fanny packs at Disneyland yesterday. Oh. You know what I'd like to see come back? I know there's one in, in Riverside. I don't know if there's if they're still popular everywhere. Drive-in theaters. I, mean, I think we had one in our town for a while. I used to love to go to the drive-in. Um, my, my entire family, we would just pack up the cooler and get blankets We'd go in our pajamas when we were kids, you know. Pack up the cooler, grab blankets and pillows, and just go to the drive-in theater. You usually got to see two movies. And didn't have to go to the snack bar because you could bring your own stuff. So, I also told you guys that I was going to be giving five channels that I watch a shout-out. That's right. He, he can count. Five. Don't use this hand because it's not right. It's five. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, five channels that I watch that I think you guys should go and check out. Number one tonight is Tresemme One. Awesome, awesome lady in Arizona. And um, her husband did a tag with her because we tagged her to do a video. And her husband actually did a tag. And I think that was the first time I saw her husband actually in one of the videos. I think he does most of the videoing. But pretty cool. Go check it out. Uh, one Ashley One. She does these little skits that are awesome. She plays different people in the skits. So filming it and editing it and everything, 
excellent, excellent job. One Ashley One. Unedited Life 01. She is a very good vlogger. She doesn't get enough credit for what she does. You guys really, really do need to go and check her out. Um, her channel, she, she doesn't specialize in any one thing in particular, but she's awesome. Go check her out. Give her a thumbs up and subscribe. The Real Brits of New York. They are awesome. It's a husband and wife and their daughter. And they live in New York City. And they took us to, or well, tried to go to the Christmas tree lighting at Times Square. All of that stuff. They take you to all these different things in New York City. They're amazing. And they, it's like you're there with them. So go check them out. They're awesome. And Glitter in the Sky. She is so amazing. It's beautiful heart. She's such a great person. I love watching her. And she always leaves us some beautiful, beautiful comments as well. So go check them out. I will leave all of those links down below so you guys can go and see them all. My question for you tonight is being brought to you by Melody Mainville. We stole it from her. I offered hey. it to you, so there. Yeah. <laughs> no fighting now, no fighting, no fighting, separate corners. Okay, how, even if you're not a YouTuber, how and where did you come up with or get your YouTube name? Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Some people got some pretty interesting names out there, so. Okay, it is time for... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Yay. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Last night's question was about uh, Poltergeist and Return of the Living Dead. Poltergeist has to do with um, uh, mostly a cemetery that was uh, not moved when it was supposed to be moved. And the, uh, the skeletons that were used in the scene, the swimming pool, were real human skeletons. Uh, they were mummied up to look like mummies, but they were, they were using really, real skeletons. And um, that, that was 1982 Poltergeist, and in 1985, in The Return of the Living Dead, they also used real skeletons in that scene, and they talked about it. They talked about where they got the uh, skeletons, and it was in India, and apparently it was cheaper to buy skeleton, uh, real human skeletons than it was to buy a plastic one back in those days, so people bought real skeletons. And in that, in uh, Return of the Living Dead, he, they sort of put the question out there, hmm, where did they get these bodies, and how come they seem to have an endless supply of them? Uh, nobody ever a answered that question. But um, we stopped, as a country, buying them from India at that point. And they made it very difficult to purchase a real human skeleton in this country after that. Coincidence? Hmm, don't know. Seems to me that a bunch of people went missing when people wanted skeletons. Ours are plastic, by the way. Yes, in they case are. In anybody, anybody has interest in knowing. Yes. Today's a question. Oh, you didn't say who got it right. Terry Johnson, Cole Today, and Bam BS. Woohoo! There was quite a lot of discussion about it, apparently. Okay, today's question is about Halloween H2O, which was the 20th anniversary movie of the original H2O 20 years later. Uh, starring, for the first time in 20 years, um, Jamie Lee Curtis and her mother, Janet Lee. Now, there's references in the movie to um, the movie. Psycho. Mm. Uh, what references are those? They're all pretty much happen at the same time. So what references to that movie is in H2O? Interesting. First of all, I didn't know it was the 20 year anniversary. Even though it's called H2O, I thought it was talking about water. Oh yeah, Halloween and water. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you. We love you all. 
You can do that now. Very much. <laughs> Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out all our other stuff. And we will see you tomorrow.